sit? Take a seat. Or fall over. That works too. All right. All right. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to see so many of you this morning. I want to share a story with you called the parable of the prodigal son. We heard the parable before? Maybe? I think. Well, I have some great pictures to show to help us tell the story. Well, Jesus loved to tell stories. Anytime he was asked an important question, he didn't always give just a straight answer. Instead, he would tell us a story so that we could learn more about it. So Jesus is going to tell us the story of the lost son, or the prodigal son, as it were. He says, once there was a man who had two sons, and he was working in the field with both of those sons. And then one son stopped working, and he came to his dad and said, hey, give me my share of the property, and I'm going to go off. Do you think his dad gave him all his, half of his money? You wouldn't think so, right? No. You don't just go up to your parents and say, hey, give me my money, right? I hope not. I don't know if your parents would be as generous, but this father gave him all the money. Gave him all the money, and look how happy he is. He's like, yeah, what am I going to do with all this money? And so he rides off, but look how sad his father his dad was so sad to see him go. But the son rides off. He's like, I'm going to have some fun with all this money. Yeah. Ah, pages are stuck. There we go. So he rides away from his town and goes into the big city. And he says, I'm here. Let's have some fun. All excited. He meets a whole bunch of new friends and says, I got a lot of money. Let's have some fun. So he starts spending it. Let's see. Looks like he bought some hats for his new friends. Would you spend your money on hats? Yeah. Yeah, you like hats? You, you do like hats, fine. All right. <laughs> Buy some new hats for your friends. He bought, oh, you see what's on his fingers now? He bought, buy some jewelry and some rings, right? some gems. Do you like jewelry? Yeah. You like gems? Oh, okay. All right, we better watch our money, huh? All right. All right. Looks like he buys some toys for his friends. Little birds. Gems and jewelry and hats. Sit up, get up. Stuck together. And then they go out to dinner and have a big party. And they're all having a really good time until what happens? He runs out of money. What happens when he runs out of money? Well, his friends leave. They weren't very good friends, were they? No. No. They weren't his true friends. They were just there because he was buying them some stuff, right? And so he leaves the big city sad, without any money. He doesn't have a way to buy any food or stay anywhere. And so he sees a sign. Oops. Ah. All right. He sees a sign that a farmer needs help with the pigs. Do you guys go work with pigs? No. Go work on a farm, maybe? No. Somebody has to work on a farm. All right. 
So he goes to the farmer who says, you can go feed slop to the pigs, and I'll pay you. A farmer. Do you want to be a farmer? Yeah. yeah. You like what farmers do? All right. All right, would you want to do this? You want to feed the pigs? No. no. <laughs> all right. So he goes and he feeds the pigs. And look at his brand new hat. It's all torn and dirty. Right? And he's really sad. And as he's there with the pig, he thinks, what have I done? I took money from my dad, and I left, and he's so sad. Do you think he was going to go back? Yeah? So he thinks, you know what? I made some bad decisions, but I'm going to go back and see my dad. And he gives the pig his hat. The piggy's hat. You need to be careful, OK? All right. And he goes back. And he thinks, of course, do you think his dad's going to be upset with him? Yeah, he thinks his dad's going to be so mad at him for what he did. And he goes back, and he's ready to apologize. And he's waiting, and he thinks, what is my dad going to do? Think his dad was upset? His dad was just excited to have him home. And before he could even get there and say, I'm sorry, his dad ran out and gave him a hug. Right? And he decided to throw a party for him because he had come home. And he gave him, here he is, giving him a big hug. And it says, it feels good to be Does it feel good to be forgiven? Yeah? Well, you know, sometimes that was funny. Yeah? Oh, OK. All right. Well, sometimes we don't always make the right choices, right? I mean, maybe we don't run away or take all of the money. But maybe we say words that hurt somebody else. Right? But we can always go back and say we're sorry. And also know, right, that our parents and our teachers, and our friends, and our God forgives us. Right? So we're supposed to forgive one another also. Right? Will you pray with me? Okay. Dear God, thank you for the story of the prodigal son. Remind us that we are forgiven. Remind us to forgive others. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, guys. Are we going with Mrs. Mullen today for Sunday school? Okay. Great. Simon, you want to get up, bud? <laughs>